about it. We're a buy side firm. We're a global investment manager. We manage about $730 billion in assets today. My business is essentially an, an information business. Um, we don't give anybody a tangible product. You know, we don't give you a microwave or a PlayStation. All we do is take your money, invest it, and then come back to you with reports and information on how we're doing with it. In the hottest topic out of all these three dozen capabilities that we were talking about was surprise, surprise data. And it wasn't a hot topic because people were thrilled with it. Um, basically, they said the data is not consistent, it's not reliable, it's not accurate, and it's not published in a timely manner. We said, hey, it's really simple. We want to provide data as a service, the same way that electrical service is supplied inside a building. This was the idea. We know every portfolio. We know every data type, every attribute. Why not just make it all available every day in this giant uh, daily all-you-can-eat buffet? This is just a snapshot of one quadrant of what you might see in a typical investment uh, management firm's back office. Accounting systems, risk compliance systems, trading, trade settlement, um, attribution calculation systems, et cetera. So it's pretty intense in there. So there's about 14,600 individual documents that are generated for different funds, share classes, languages, currencies. I calculated that would be enough to cover Manhattan three pages thick in paper every month. In our company, we didn't have a single place that you could go to find a catalog of every, every product we had, nor with all the associations that you need to take those products to market. Um, secondly was then figuring out how to design the solution so that we could bridge that, that, the gap between that simple vision we had and the realities we faced. The virtue of virtualization for us was it got our technology guys to learn more about the business and our business guys to learn more about the technology and really come to have a mutual respect that is incredibly powerful. Anyway, the technology guys built us five architecture layers, the sourcing layer, the assembly layer, the manufacturing where we apply a lot of the rules and aggregation, and then the publishing layer to kind of a standard set of services, and then a distribution layer that we added on, which is kind of an extension of customized app level uh, services, um, even down to the country layer. So we can deliver localization to Italy or to Switzerland in multiple languages for any country. We were green on budget. We were green on schedule for everything, every single drop, every milestone that we had to had hit and we vastly exceeded the scope of what we intended to do originally for our original uh, funding. People talked about it, how flexible composite is, how flexible this solution is. It was amazing to me. I've been involved in a lot of projects over the last couple decades, and I've seen a lot of good, bad, and ugly, but I've never seen anything that has come through with shining colors like this. So now we can push everything concurrently to any application, any subscribing app, or any user in the world. Uh, in accordance with our compliance office's uh, release policy, which is close of business day five. Reliability, is this <coughs> dumb to say this? Uptime's been 100% since April of a year ago. We're covering 25,000 product master records, 2,300 data elements on those, 43 websites around the world, delivering data with translated uh, text strings in 35 languages, and we're covering up to 26 applications. I think we have nine applications live already and 17 more in queue. We've seen voracious adoption once you got past that hurdle of trust and credibility. Once there's a couple of applications live, AD guys are pretty smart. If they realize they don't have to ask for as much money when they go for funding, and that they're not going to have to compile their own requirements that have already been done and build their own data dictionaries and, and save time, they're going to look like heroes. They're going to come and shop. If you build a good product, they're going to buy it. Um, we now have lined up, I think, seven uh, data stores to be uh, sunsetted, where we started out with one. And again, we, like I said, we have like 26 applications now in queue. I've never seen them happier. You know, a lot of the challenges and frustrations that they would face in their normal day-to-day -day job are alleviated with composite and with the services. A lot of companies also face key person risk if there's only one, one or two people who know, you know how to get things done and where the Excel spreadsheets are and what formulas they're using. So really institutionalizing that knowledge and sharing it has been a, an important factor in our project. And lastly, I, I mentioned this earlier, building an appetite for more rigorous governance.